The nominees for the William R. Smoltz Award are Brian Gregory, Justin Fleming, and Jonah Plymeyer. My name is Jonah Plymeyer. I'm from York, Pennsylvania. My sport is football and my POE is Studio Fine Arts and K-12 K through 12 Education. Steak. Would, okay, would lifting be a hobby? Yeah, I'm doing paintings for two NFL players right now. John Kuhn and Ron Johnson. They're kind of famous, I guess. Ormond Beach, Florida. I think it's, is it poop? I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, it's uh, it's stinky. It like, it bothers me, I don't know why. My junior year here I played, I, I didn't even play my position that I came here to play for, uh, which was, I just punted. And uh, I punted in high school too, but it wasn't, you know, I wasn't really passionate. That's not really what drove me, you know, that's what, I didn't really learn what football was about by just punting, it was, it was playing linebacker. That's what taught me what, you know, football, that's what, gave me that passion and drive. A recent injury that I had to really pay attention to this past year was my neck. The doctor didn't really suggest me to play because I was risking, it was a high risk of getting paralyzed because um, I had a bunch of nerves, my C5 and C6 vertebrae. Uh, the nerves were, were damaged pretty badly from getting stingers and you know, just hitting all the contact. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to play, so I worked really hard in the rehab with, with Dodie and Jeff and Megan and really persevered and tried to stay positive. I had atrophy in my right pack. You could see my rib cage, it was so bad. Um, my forearm, my right arm was, was a lot smaller. I started getting the uh, <laughs> the nickname Hellboy because I had like one regular side and the other side was so atrophied. It's just never give up, stay faithful. You know, I graduated early. I had started here as a bio major and then busted my butt. Really took a lot of summer classes at Hack and through Millersville so I could get into that master's program. Um, and graduated early so I could, you know, save money. And uh, yeah, just Stay faithful, stay positive. My name is Justin Fleming. I play basketball here at Junietta College. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and my POE is biology. The last song I listened to was Hail Mary by Tupac. The one that flew over the cuckoo's nest. I like um, Mallorca in Pittsburgh. It's, in, it's a Spanish food, it's really, really good. 12, it's gotta be 12. Yeah, I met some dude from The Walking Dead one time at a bar. He's the, the huge guy with red hair, but I don't remember his name. <laughs> Throughout my college years, I've had a lot of changes. I've had a lot of things thrown at me. Um, I've had two, I have two stepdads actually. My mom uh, was married, divorced, and then married, divorced again. So I've had a lot of different family members. Um, each summer I've lived in a different house. So I think that's pretty interesting. And that's definitely a challenge. You know, you go home and you're, you're in a different environment. You have a different people around your family every day. And I think that parallels really well with my academic and athletic career here at Juniata because everything was being thrown at me all the time. And it was difficult to balance three labs a week with traveling to games all the time. That was not easy. So I think that that fits very well with perseverance and tenacity. Reflecting back on my four years is very difficult because there was a lot going on. Uh, I've changed so much these four years in every way, especially athletically. So coming from a high school program where it was all about running and shooting and isolations and then coming here where it's very instructional and I don't want to say military, militaristic but 
definitely, definitely a big change. So I struggled my freshman year, definitely, with trying to get on the court and trying to play. And then academically too, it was a big challenge for me as well. So my freshman year, it was just an a huge struggle and a huge challenge, but it only forced me to just keep working harder. And each year it got easier and easier and easier, just naturally, because I, I knew what was coming each year and I knew how to handle it. So by my junior and senior year, I was in a position to lead and help others try to get through these same challenges. In order to be a successful student athlete, the first one in my opinion is to maintain a positive attitude, always go in feeling good, feeling positive. And then the second one is definitely time management, the ability to balance schoolwork and whatever sport you're playing. And then also incorporating leisure time, in my opinion, is very important. It's monumental to make time for yourself because that helps alleviate stress and then regroup and then start again. My name is Brian Gregory. I'm from Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. Uh, my POE is biochemistry and I play men's tennis. Today? Yep. Uh, hard boiled eggs and oatmeal with chocolate and honey in it. Uh, yeah, I have, back at home, I have four horses that are Shadow, Daisy, Dixie, and Border, and I have a German Shepherd whose name is Bear. Uh, I have a Schnoodle whose name is Chloe. Um, my parents just got a ferret. His name's Shrug, and I've never seen him before, though. So, oh, uh, like branch. But um, and then uh, I have a cat named Todd. That's about it. Uh, gray. A little Argyle. Be specific. Yeah. So, my favorite trilogy is definitely Star Wars. The original, because I think the prequels are just terrible. It doesn't fit necessarily. It does fit me, but also my team, I would say, as a whole, especially this year because uh, we've had several different coaches. Like the past three years have been the status quo with our last coach and he left at the beginning of the year and then we have had three different coaches since then. So it's been constantly readjusting to um, a new coaching environment, which has been, it's been difficult, but it's also been interesting and a rewarding challenge. Uh, so I would say the role that I would play was more of management and leadership. Uh, with being captain, it was making sure that the team uh, had a good attitude and had positivity throughout every practice and that they were focused. But with some of the other miscellaneous stuff, it was had would deal with uh, sometimes strain rackets. Uh, and then uh, sometimes running drills, which normally our coach would have to do. So I would have to try and lead practices, which we weren't used to having players lead practices. So it was a little awkward at first, but over time uh, they, they got used to it because everyone fell in line. We understood what we need to do, where we were, uh, where our place was on our team in order to make us a more cohesive unit. Uh, looking back, I, I'm really proud of what uh, men's tennis has done here at Junia because when I first came here, uh, it, we weren't even making the conference playoffs. We were one of the last four teams and then like my freshman year, we got into the playoffs. The year after that, we were the top team in the regular season and we got to the finals and then last year we won it and now this year, I think it's just it's just expected of us to win now, and that's where like, I'm really happy that we're in the conversation in that way. We're the favorites, and I think we're relishing that. And we've, we've had to earn that, and we love that, that we've earned our spot in the conference.